The Rift Rider's finished. But if my father's right and the ring is somewhere in the Metalhead nest, how are we going to get the Rift Rider there to use it? Look! Bruno just knew friends would need lift if Metalheaders attack. Bruno, you the man! Lucker Balloons are finest lifters in world, but they is easy target. Right. You guys get the Rift Rider to the nest. I'll stay here and defend your takeoff and get away. Once again, being your friend sucks. I want to go in the balloon. You keep Stadium safe while we prep balloon for lift away. Oh no, here they come! Little Haggers! Hey guys, welcome back to the walkthrough now on part 39. And if we want to make a cutscene dramatic, we know who to come to now. I'm not gonna lie, actually, the first time I saw this cutscene, Footer made me jump. Right, here we go. I love how, actually, if you watch that cutscene closely, you can see metal heads in the distance, like, waiting to get to you. Just stay with these guys. Um, Believe me, it is very tempting to get the skull gems once you take out the metal heads. Just focus on keeping near Samos and Samos. <laughs> and they're actually working together here for once, that's so quite, quite impressive. Like, Magicus Extremos. Oh god. Oh, bollocks. It was it was tricky the first time I played this mission actually, very tricky. But I'm getting better at it now. I mean, it's not been too hard so far. Just, just keep near the characters. Come on, nearly there now. Seriously, though, for powerful sages, they do, but they don't have to take their time. There we go. They're fine now. Yep. Sweet. Get some skull gems might as well, seeing as they're right at the very end. I'm popping away! Must be nice floating away while we die down here. We'll meet near the nest. See you soon, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, Jack. Be careful. That's Finn's last breath there. It's a bit unnerving that little uh, voice clip there. I must admit, the first time I heard that, I actually thought it was um, it was Core saying that, saying that it was Core who was at the construction site. But in fact, it's Finn telling you to go and find Core at the construction site. It's like, why on earth does Core want us there? We can't disrupt the Baron's mining operations now, Core. We're busy. Metalheads, but metalheads are overrunning the city and everything. I can't believe though how we're the main characters doing all the hard work. And we never get any of the fun rewards. That'd been great fun going off in that balloon. Think what an awesome mission that would have been actually, flying the Lurker balloon to the Metalhead nest. That would have been brilliant. And also as well, after that mission ends, all the metalhead uh, all the metalheads and the metalhead skull gems, they all vanish. Which is really annoying to be honest. I mean Weren't we surrounded by them beforehand? <laughs> if you listen to in the cutscene as well, um, Kira was saying that the um, the rift gate is in the metalhead nest. I mean, typical for the game developers decided to place one of the most important artifacts in the game into that one location that screams "Stay away from here" more than any of the other locations in the game. I mean. Why couldn't it be in the pumping station or Dead Town? Somewhere nice. Actually, it's Dead Town would sort of make sense, really. I don't know, anyway. We're nearly, we're nearly at the um, construction site now. The infamous construction site. Only go there once in the game. But it's a very big revelation. I can tell you now. It's a bit weird as well how Vim was in trouble for all that time. And we didn't even bother going to try and save him. It's a shame. He's been fighting metalheads quite a long time, thinking about it. We've, we've been down to Underport, we've been um, off to find Kira. He's obviously a fighter. All the nerds are. When you put him into the corner. Anyway, here we are now. 
anything else down here? I always think there's precursor orbs around here for some reason. I don't. I don't think there is. I hope not. I can, I, I can never find any in here. Anyway, here we go. Gor, what's going on? I'm sure you know. Deep down in your darkest nightmares, we've met before. Remember, everything's going exactly as planned. <laughs> Jack! It's the metalhead leader! Now you see. Without the shield wall disrupting my powers inside the city, I am my full potential now. So for the last time, give me the precursor stone! If the city must die, then we all die! I will find that stone if I have to crush this city one brick at a time! <coughs> you are the supreme weapon, Jack. And I made you. Still, any leader worth his salt always has his backup plan. Remember, the first rule in making a bomb is to always make two. No, okay, I'm going in. Man, what a mess of junk in here. All jumbled coils and switches. Ooh. Should I unhook the blue wire? Wait a minute, are colorblind? colorblind? Let me just break a few more things and see if anything pops loose. Boom! <laughs> gotcha! Like candy from a baby. I don't think it's really the right time to be humorous, Daxter. I mean, the band's just died. One of our loyal comrades is the main enemy in the game. And all we can think about is making jokes. And do you wonder why Jack's the main character and Daxter's the sidekick? <laughs> anyway, so there's a couple of precursor orbs in here, so we'll get those quickly, but what do you know? The first time um, that happened, when I, when I saw the cutscene for the first time, I, I sort of saw it coming. I thought, Cool has been acting very suspiciously recently. Oh, core! Cool. What lovely big teeth you have! <laughs> I can't believe that they, that the Crimson Guards wait for him to fully transform before they think, "Yeah, we'll try and kill him now." While he's a big scary monster. I suppose that uh, it would be a bit harsh trying to kill a defenseless old man, but then again, he's not. He's a monster. It's not that he's an old man who's got a secret passion for becoming a monster. He's an a monster in disguise as an old man. A monster in old man's clothing. And I think as well, like, the Baron, he's just like, I made you, Jack. You're making him sound like he's Frankenstein or something. I mean, he has got feelings, you know, he's a person. Anyway. I think now's the time to act. The metalheads are so focused on attacking the city, they may have left their nest vulnerable. Ooh. Jack, you've got to get out to the waste. <gasps> it's torn. Quite a big task is to put on our shoulders there. Let's go in and take the metalhead leader out. No pressure or anything. But you know the situation is getting desperate now because Torn's on the line. He's not been in here for pretty much. Yeah, I think one mission in Act Three, he, he sort of goes into a into hibernation out of shame. It's a shame because uh, he's a great guy, Torn, really. Anyway, so now we get to head over to the wasteland finally, our final new location. I remember the first time I came here, I, th I, th I thought, wow, this area has loads of metalheads. Then I remember, of course, it's, it's the metalhead nest, isn't it? So, <laughs> here we are. It changes quite a bit in the third game, I must say. Of course, Core always comes here as well. Explains it all, why he's always in the wasteland. Uh, the onslaught begins. Oh, the, the, these weird things, these weird spider and metalhead mutations. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the wasteland. <laughs> Ammunition. We're definitely gonna need that. Ooh. Give that a quick spin, get a platform up. There's quite a bit of um architecture here actually. Some of these are uh, metalheads obviously quite creative. They're artisan metalheads. Not all of them monstrous monstrously devour everything in their paths. Some enjoy sculpting and fine dining. 
But not all of them now, of course. Well, not, not these big scary bastards. Their weird jumping habits. Get out of it. <laughs> right, right now. It's the source split into two sections, but I sort of I, I sort of see it as one big mission. You have to get to the gun. There's a cutscene there. There's a blast open the metalhead nest. Now I've just ruined it for those of you who haven't seen the game before. But oh uh, well, let's quickly show you actually the metalhead nest. It's a quite a large area. Um, there's no real tactic to it. Just keep fighting through. Keep going. There's no real in-depth guide that I can do apart from just keep going and persevere. Like the first time I played it, it was a bit tricky, but now 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 when I play it it's quite straightforward. Just keep going. Anyway, we're getting near the um, the gun now for the first cutscene. I think I'll leave it there and then we'll do it all in the next part. So I shall see you then. This place is worth fighting for. We'll hold out as long as we can. Farewell. Precursor stone, gun, nest. Light her up, Padre! <laughs> I eat this. That ought to wake him up. Let's go take care of business. What? You mean go in there? Uh, I'm right behind you. <laughs> 